Now we are in level 2 kinematics, question number 52. I will put this question in the description box, but right now I am reading out to understand the question. The question is, a pendulum of length 28 cm oscillates such that its string makes an angle of 30 degrees from the vertical when it is at one of the extreme positions. We are supposed to find the ratio of distance to displacement of the bob of the pendulum when it moves from one extreme position to another. To understand the question, I have drawn a diagram. According to the question, the pendulum when it is at one of the extreme position, this pendulum makes a 30 degrees with the vertical line. Length of this pendulum is at 28 meters. We are supposed to find the ratio of distance traveled by the pendulum to displacement when this pendulum moves from when this pendulum moves from one extreme position to another. That means we have to tell distance. This distance we have to find. And then uh, displacement is what shortest distance between initial point and final point. So we have to find this distance also. Let me call this as some A, this as a B, this as a C. So we have to find the ABC distance and we have to find AC distance. So ratio of ABC to AB is the requirement. So we have to find what we are supposed to find is the ratio of distance traveled by the pendulum from one extreme position to another. That means A, B, C, length of arc divided by uh, displacement. Displacement is always the shortest distance between initial point to final point. So displacement is A to C straight line. So A, C line segment. So this is what we are supposed to find. So how to work out this? To find a distance traveled, just assume that this pendulum is a part of this circle. A circle whose uh, radius is 28 meter and this is that rigid point where the pendulum is being placed. And this is uh, A and this pendulum travels all the way to point B and finally goes to point C. A and C are the extreme positions. So we have to find this uh, length means we have to find length of arc. We have to find length of arc of a circle. For that we should know the central angle. So central angle is according to law of conservation of energy, amplitude of oscillation is always the same. That is from vertical, this extreme position is at what a distance? From vertical line, this extreme position is also at the same distance. In that case, if this is 30, this is also 30. So total uh, vertical angle is a 60 degrees. So here, this is a 60 degrees. In that case, we will find the length of this arc. Length of this arc has a formula. So length of arc, arc is a ABC. Length of arc is total circumference of circle. Total circumference of circle is 2 pi r. So 2 pi r is some fraction is this. And this is which fraction? This is what angle it subtends at the center divided by what angle the complete circle subtend at the center. So 2 pi r theta by 360. 360 degrees. 60 is theta. So here this is uh, 2 and uh, 360 cancel. So pi is uh, Right now I am getting 22 by 7. Accordingly if I require I can take it as a 3.14 also. So pi r. r is a 28. Theta is a 60. And the denominator we have a 180 also. So the complete denominator is made like this. So then we have some cancellation. 7 1s, 7 4s. You can do this. 6 1s, 6 3s. And uh, I think that's all. So length of arc is... Uh, 88 by 3 because it is length of arc it comes in uh, units so unit is mk system meter then we have to find what is uh, uh, displacement uh, displacement uh, between uh, uh, one extreme position to another extreme position so if you observe this uh, diagram this we have to find now observe this triangle in this triangle, this is 60. Uh, OC is a radius. 
O A is also radius means that these two are also equal. If these two are equal, then triangle O A C is the isosceles triangle. If it is isosceles, these two angles are equal. Equal sides has equal angles opposite to them. So we will apply angle sum property. 60 plus x plus x is 180. So 60 plus a 2x is 180. Uh, 2x is 60, uh, 180 minus 60 that is 120, x is 120 by 260. So this angle is also 60 degrees and this angle is also 60 degrees. Its meaning is triangle OAC is an equilateral triangle and if it is an equilateral triangle all three sides uh, lengths uh, should be same. Since uh, OA is 28, OC is 28, both of them radius. Uh, in this case, both of them length of the string of the pendulum. In that case, AC also should be 28. So, line segment AC, which is uh, displacement of the ball from one extreme position to another extreme position, that is also 28 meter. So, what is the ratio? Ratio is length of arc, uh, arc ABC to displacement this is uh, 88 by 3 by 28. So we can do some uh, minimum cancellation. So uh, this is 4 sevenths, 4 22s and ultimately the ratio is 22 by 3 sevenths and 21. So the answer is 22 is to 21.